Hi friends, it's Gwen. I don't know if you know or not, but yes, I received the traveling book. And this was this idea and this book was sent originally by Miranda at Books 101. She sent this out around the booktube community and she sent it um, to different booktubers and she left a little note inside that said who may receive this book in the following year, go crazy with this book, highlight your favorite quotes, sign and write in the traveling book. Um, so she kind of started the idea kind of like the traveling pants that would travel from friend to friend to friend and they would kind of, you know, have their own experiences in the pants. So this is about the book, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, and it was traveled from booktuber to booktuber, and I was the last one that was supposed to receive it in 2014, but because of mailing issues and the holidays, I actually received it um, this month, but I have finally included my bits and pieces, and I would like to share with you what I have included. Okay, so to start on the outside, this was already included, the pens were already here, um, the stars on the top um, that are penciled, you can already see that, and then on the side, I'll have to show you that after, there were clouds, and so I added this, it just says the traveling book, and in order to show you the inside a little better, I'm going to remove the pens, but I will add them before I ship them back to Miranda. Um, I know that Danny added this charm and this charm, and I think it's so cute um, because it is a love story, and of course the stars, that just kind of goes with it. Um, on the inside is the letter from Miranda, and other people have added little things. Um, so I kind of bookmarked a couple, not all obviously because we would be here forever. Um, the first thing that I added was where it says also by John Green and it has looking for Alaska, an abundance of Catherine's paper towns on Will Grayson, Will Grayson. So I said I read that book. That's on my shelf waiting to be read, on my shelf waiting to be read. I read Will Grayson, Will Grayson, and I added Let It Snow with Maureen Johnson and Laura Miracle, and I read that one. So I just wrote in some of his books. And I'll be taking off my little tabs as I go along. So, <laughs> okay, the second page. Oh, I did do this. I didn't mark this, tab this page. But um, let's see, who was it that did it? I believe it was Whitney from Witty Novels, and she wrote, um, put a little post over and wrote, you know, so it says John Mean, and then under that I wrote Peekaboo, so I did add that. Okay, let's see, my next tab, oh, on this page it has the little quote from Peter Van Hoosen's An Imperial Inflection, as the tide washed in, the Dutch tulip man faced the ocean, and I just doodled a tulip. So that's what a lot of my additions to the book were, were like little doodles. I did read parts of this as I was going through it, but I did not read it um, from beginning to end. I originally read the book in January 2014, and then I received the traveling book in 2015 in January. So it's kind of like January is my The Fault in Our Stars anniversary. On the very first page, chapter one, um, a lot of people did include stuff on that. And I just underlined where it said, I rarely left the house, spent quite a lot of time in bed, read the same book over and over, ate infrequently, devoted quite a bit of my abundant free time to thinking about, and I scratched out death and wrote books. And then on the side, she says because um, her mother decided she was depressed because of that. And I said, I guess I'm depressed too. This bothered me when regular doctor, so I lowercase that. And then where there were um, heart, I like in the literal heart of Jesus. Here's how we, here's how it went in God's heart. Christ's very sacred heart and whatever. So anytime it said heart, I just drew little hearts around it. And this is a bookmark that Danny included, and I was using this um, as I did go through the book. So thanks for including that, Danny. And yes, it will go back in the book when I am finished. The, on page six, she talks about um, 
Let's see. I tried my level best to get out of support group while sitting on the couch with my mom in the third leg of a 12-hour marathon of the previous season's American Top Model. And I just underlined America's Top Model and wrote a marathon on this show, too. <laughs> And someone um, highlighted letters and it spelled out, I love this book. And I just wrote, I love this book too. On page 16 and 17, again, I, you know, hearted words that said heart. And then on page 17, it talks about um, V for Vendetta, the, one, the movie that has Natalie Portman. And I've never seen the movie. So I just wrote, is this movie any good? And then again, there was another heart, so. Um, the next page, page 18, um, again, another heart. And this is where Isaac Penn was kissing the curvy brunette girl, and he was kissing her, so I underlined kissing and drew some little lips. I thought this was great on page 20 where, I said, where it said, I wanted to smack Augustus Waters and also replace my lungs with lungs that didn't suck at being lungs. So I underlined that. All of my writing in this book is that um, magenta felt tip pen. On chapter two, page 22, um, where he talks about Augustus Waters drove horrifically. Whether stopping or starting, everything happened with a tremendous jolt. So I drew a little lightning bolt, like a jolt. I thought this was craziness on page 24 and 25. It says, my lungs started to fill up with water. I was looking pretty dead. My hands and feet ballooned. My skin cracked. My lips were perpetually blue. They got this drug that makes you feel not so completely terrified about the fact that you can't breathe and I had a lot of it flowing through me through a PICC line and more than a dozen other drugs besides. So I mean I was just like wow it sounds like whew. Come home from class and set the world record for number of episodes of Top Chef watched consecutively. Um, and I underlined that and said this show isn't an is this show isn't any good and you have recorded American Time <laughs> America's Next Top Models. Um, Top Chef is kinda eh so I think she should be watching America's Next Top Model. And then um, Whitney, again on page 41, mom drove me directly from school to the bookstore. She was like, yes. And I just did exclamation marks because who doesn't love a bookstore? Another thing I just doodled on page. I felt so sad when I was flipping through and some pages got a lot of love and then some um, pages did not. So on page 42, um, also Warner, because Whitney, of course, we all know she's in love with Warner, so when they said darling, she wrote also Warner, and she goes, okay, I'll stop, and then Danny wrote, don't stop, and then I wrote, get it, get it, and then on page 43, there was nothing on that page, so I just did a little doodle. On page 51, at the bottom, it says, no spoilers, and I underlined it and said, please. Then on page 68, it was just another doodle fest. I bordered it. This is what I end up doing to all my class notes. Uh, let's see, on page 76, it talks about, um, I went downstairs to the tiny windowless gift shop and asked the decrepit volunteer sitting on a stool behind a cash register what kinds of flowers smell the strongest. They all smell the same. They get sprayed with super scent. She, she said, really? Yeah, they just squirt them with it. I opened the cooler to her left and sniffed about a dozen roses and then leaned over some carnations. Say smell and lots of it. The carnations were cheaper so I grabbed a dozen yellow ones. So I just doodled a little flower. And then um, on page 77, that's where the author replied to her email. And when she said right here, um, the next morning I woke up and checked my email first thing. And then the author has finally replied. And I wrote, at this point, is she fangirling? Because who isn't excited when an author writes them? And then after Dear Miss Lancaster... I fear of faith has been misplaced, and you know, um, 
it says my posts are otherwise shared on the network that has replaced your James or Jerry. There is the telephone, but you might record. So I was just like, wow, what a dick. <laughs> and then of course on the other side, towards the bottom of his letter, he redeemed himself somewhat. And then what is this life? Again, other people liked this as well, so I just drew the arrows. Um, and page 79 is another page that I just doodled on, and this time I just did circles. And then on page 83, I wrote, blank pages make me sad, so it's not blank anymore. On page 112, Someone highlighted this, um, it says off topic, but what a slut time is, she screws everybody. And someone highlighted what a slut time is, she screws everybody. Um, Whitney, I'm assuming, drew a clock, and then I just wrote slut. On page, and on several other pages, I did this. On page 170 and 171, I just drew little flowers just to decorate the page so they didn't feel so lonely. On page 178, oh, this is the part where they're talking about um, Rene Magritte, where he says, this is not a pipe, but it's a picture of a pipe. And um, I just wrote, fun fact, this is also featured in the first episode of Switched at Birth. And I know this because I had to do this for one of my projects um, in my ASL class. Then I did... On page 290, well, I'll go back, 288, I also did little things. Um, on 289, I did little stars at the bottom by the page number, and I did this on several other pages as well. Um, on page 291, I did little dots by the page number, and then where at the very end she writes, yeah, I said, I promised to visit them again in a few days. I never quite caught his scent again. And then Whitney wrote, underlined it and said, that's the sound of my heart ripping out, ripping out of my chest. Danny wrote, same. And I said, my heart literally breaks. So, wrote that. Um... On page 136, Obsessed Reader did a little doodle. Um, I guess she's from Kentucky. And she said, you gave me forever with the numbered days, and I am grateful. And she got this book March 3rd of 2004, and she wrote her name Emily. And then I just did a little doodle, and I said, maybe okay will be our always. So I did include blue, like, in the clouds. And, the, and I actually, I think I tweeted a copy of this picture. So if you're not following me on Twitter, you should do that. And then my favorite part, I really liked this from Lexi, the Ultimate Videos Playlist page. And then, of course, at the end, Danny did okay, so not okay. And then Book of Doodles, that was really pretty. What? she did and everybody just kind of signed their name and everything like that and then um i wrote my name gwendolyn burke virginia usa january 2015 and i kissed it and i did put tape over it so it won't smudge um now that all of my tabs are out i can show you the clouds that someone did which i think is so cute and i wanted to do that like continuing at the bottom but i figured i would just do something different all right the traveling book it still does have everything in it um it has the um friendship bracelet that someone included in it i have that in there um and like i said there's a few other things that i did i didn't want to include everything like for example on page 133 they're talking about um there's a key above the door. Yes, there is. Mahana opens the door. The darkness is still. Take out the knife. Take out the knife. So, Isaac's voice killed myself. So, I did draw a little knife. So, a lot of mine were more doodles. And, oh, and I also did this on, I didn't do this every chapter. But on some chapter, like chapter 9, I just drew a big 9. I know I did that on a few other chapters as well. Um, chapter 10. So, there were things that I'm not including in this. But overall, that's pretty much what I did. I, like I said, I didn't read all 
the entire book again just because I want to get it back to Miranda. I know she's been waiting for it for a while and it was an extremely awesome experience to be able to go through and look through what other people have written and what they were thinking when they were reading the book and I definitely try to include it, little bits and pieces of things that I was thinking throughout the book but I also just tried in general to give the book a little bit of love and I can't wait to send it back to Miranda. I know she's planning on doing a big video a big reveal and kind of show everything that's happened to the book and I don't know if she's planning on saving this book and starting another traveling book or if she plans to send this one out again I guess we shall see um, but Miranda I'm done with the traveling book thank you for letting me be a part of it thank you Danny for sending it to me and I really enjoyed the experience and I was so happy to be included and yeah so here's the traveling book I'm gonna go ahead and add the bookmark back and I did keep this towards the beginning so people can use that and I I just dropped the pin <laughs> I am including the pins back on because I know that people wanted the pins to go back. Clip them on. And yes, yeah, so um, I'm probably just going to go ahead and include my sticky notes in here somewhere. So those are some of the pages that I marked. So I'm going to keep those in there so if people, if she does send it back out, she can mark certain pages, they, whoever can mark certain pages. But also um, it is the Tiffio's colors, the blue and the yellow. But I did the yellow so it would stand out more. Um, but if she decides to send it back out, then they can use those to mark their pages to do their little video about it. But that's it for me today, guys. Um, I really enjoyed this experience. I am so happy that I was a part of the original traveling book. Um, Maybe, you know, I know there's other traveling books out there and maybe I'll get a chance to be a part of those as well. If not, this was a great experience and I'll see you next time. Bye.